St. Louis Grammar School, Kilkeel. And your names? I'm Lawrence. And I'm Kira. Brilliant, thank you very much. Tell me a little bit about your project. Well, our project is all about workshop safety. And it's all about uh, being safe in the workshop so you don't get hit by a chuck key. And you can get severely scarred and even scarred for life, which we want to prevent. So that's why we designed our project. So. Sounds fascinating. Tell me a little bit more about it. Well, there is an incident in our school not that long ago where um, a boy in our in our year, not in our year, but in our school, he left the chucky in the pedal, and our technician came along, turned on the pedal, and the chucky got stuck, flew out, and embedded itself into the chuck or into the blackboard. That would have been some damage to you, but embedded yourself in your head. I know, yeah. Thankfully, nobody got hurt. So tell me a wee bit more about what we have here. You know, how did you actually tackle that problem? Um, what did you actually do? What's this about? Well, it's it, it's really that your work has to be in place on the table and that the guard always has to be closed because some people uh, leave the guard open and also leave the chuck key in the machine, which you're not meant to do. So. Our project only works whenever your work is down flat on the table and that whenever your guard is closed, that it will only work then. So is it sensing in some way what's actually happening? Yeah, well there's an LDR, a light, em light emitting diode, uh, at the bottom and it won't work unless the, there's work over the top of it. So if it gets any light at it at all, the whole, the whole drill will cut off automatically. And how long did it take you to come up with the idea? Uh, well, it took a good while. We had a bit of work done before um, we actually got chosen to do BT Young Scientist. But um, it really, to design the whole product, it took us about three months. And is this something that you think will uh, be of interest to people in industry? Definitely, yes. It could save people's lives and and not make them like scared when they go to use it, the drill again. Do it again, and your names? I'm Niall. I'm Roy. Tell us a little bit about your project then, Roy. Uh, this is the Easy Flow Sensor System. It uses three key thermistors in, located inside the house and on the model there to take the temperature readings and send them back to an LCD monitor. The temperature is taken from the attic, your boiler, and the mains water pipe. Right. The main water pipes also have an, LC, an LED bar chart, and this, uh, without even looking at the LCD monitor, will tell you about the temperature. Uh, there are different ranges of temperature, like tw above 21, 15 to 21 degrees, and uh, below 5 degrees Celsius, the different ones. Uh, below 5 degrees Celsius, the, uh, monitor, the system is programmed to turn off the mains water so that no more uh, water can come flowing through and it can't freeze over and, burst, and it makes your pipes burst. It's all about your pipes bursting. Last year, uh, over 900 million was paid out for uh, damages and costs by insurers just in December and we aim to help prevent you, the people at home going through all these uh, crises. And tell me why you chose this project. We chose this project when we were coming up with an idea for it. We couldn't think of anything. Then when the big freeze struck we thought we could make a project that would help those people who have had to pay all the money. Also a group before us from our school came up with an idea for an autistic sensory aid. They came second in the group stages so we were inspired by them and thought we could help other people as well. And how long have you been working on it? Well we've been lurk, uh, working on it mainly over the last year or so I think uh, and we've really put in a lot of work over the last few months just to get everything uh, down to details. We ran into a couple of troubles 
was the well the uh, semesters and the relays, but because the specifications were off, but uh, we got it sorted out in the end. And now our project's fully functioning. It seems to me that this is a project which could have commercial implications. Is that right? Yeah, we've designed it so it can it can be marketed on a global scale because everyone has ice at some point in the year, so it could be anywhere located anywhere around the world. There's obviously been an awful lot of work in it. I can see that. Did you enjoy it? Uh, it has been great fun and. Uh, working with the technicians and the teachers in school and we have uh, gained a great insight into technology and science and even made new friends along the way.